would say the best lacrosse moment in the past four years was beating Limestone two years ago. Beating Limestone sophomore year. When we lost to Limestone uh, the last game of our season and we had to go pick up our things and go back to St. Charles, practice for a week and go back to Limestone the next weekend to go play them the first round of nationals and you know it's a hard feeling. We It wasn't like a one goal loss. It was like a seven goal loss and uh, we went back and we totally turned the tables on them and beat them by a very good amount and that was their first loss of the season so it was pretty sweet. On the field it would probably be in our final four against Lock Haven um, my sophomore year. Scoring two goals in that game was huge and uh, I don't think I've ever been that excited. I think if you ask anyone on the team they've never seen me that excited either but um, that was huge and that whole experience was great. Off the field, just um, when we found out that we made the Final Four, the first time we were in the Vandalia room and we got that, we were watching it on the big screen and hearing that, and I'll never forget looking at Jamie's face and her weird face going all over the place, but um, you know, that was a milestone in, our, in my career here and Lindenwood lacrosse program, so that was huge and that was one of my favorite moments for sure. I think the best moment it'd be going to the Final Fours, for sure, the one last year's. I think because it just proved that it wasn't a mistake our first time, so I'm hoping to do that again this year. Well, currently my best cross moment has been the Final Four. And just everything from like the private jet to like, I mean, even on the field playing experience. Like I thought, I just thought it was a special moment. Um, I hope in four weeks I can be sitting here saying the best career thing in my life was a national championship. Definitely the girls. I'm definitely going to miss my friends the most because I don't think anyone can say that their best friend isn't on the lacrosse team. I think the thing I'd miss the most is just the, the team atmosphere and being around the team so much. I, we definitely pride ourselves in being a family here so it's it'll be a big adjustment change when I won't be seeing the same faces for probably five hours a day. The thing I'll miss the most is definitely being on a team. Um, in no other time in my life will I have 20 other girls who have my back 100%, who I'll be running with, who I'll be lifting with, who I'll have to go to practice with, who I'll wake up at 6 a.m. with. Like Everything we do is as a team and I have 28 other girls who are doing it with me. No point in my life am I ever going to have that again and I'm definitely going to miss that. I've loved all the trips we've gone on just because it brings teams closer together. The best lacrosse trip is so impossible to say. Probably California. That was really cool. We were lucky enough to go to California in the fall. That's something no one has ever done before. My favorite trip has to be California, of course. Um, I'm from California. I remember me and Getz were on the plane and we're like, we see the five, we see the five freeway. Oh my gosh, the five freeway is just like, it's just like home for Californians. Like that's just like a huge deal. And we're, we're just so excited to see the five. Like I've never been so excited. Oh, Florida trip. I think the bonding that happened in that trip, we had condos where we got to stay together and you know, we, the captains went and got um, breakfast foods for us and we woke up in the morning and made each other coffee and someone made the eggs, someone made the pancakes, we got to sit around in the living room, pop a movie in. Uh, I think the bonding during that trip was definitely one for the books that I really liked that one. Two weeks ago in Florida, even though we didn't do as well as we wanted, I have never been closer to a group of girls. We were, we lived together for a week in a condo, we had to cook each other breakfast, we just I am so much closer to my team because of that. I would say one trip that kind of stands out the most to me would be the Florida trip two years ago, just because it was kind of our first spring break trip and we did a lot from going to the beach and just the games and the competition we had was good too and it was a fun experience. And then just when you think like you have all your favorite trips planned out, you get stuck in a blizzard on your last regular season road trip and at a sketchy gas station and then you have to stay at a motel for the whole day for like, what, eight hours and then... That is definitely one for the books, and I'm going to remember that for a really long time. All right, seniors, I'm so happy that uh, you are experiencing another great year, and uh, we are really excited for you in the upcoming tournament. And I'm really excited and hopefully uh, get another chance to go with you to the national championship. Uh, it's been an exciting, uh, for some of you, four years, and uh, we're really uh, hope, hopeful that uh, it, was a, it was a great experience for you. We want to wish you the best of luck as you leave Lindenwood for your future, 
you will always be part of uh, the Lindwood family and uh, look forward to many more years of your connection with Lindwood as you move on to another aspect of your life. Wish you a lot of luck this week, uh, the, this upcoming uh, RMAC tournament and then for the uh, postseason NCAA championships. Hopefully see you in, Dece in Denver, Colorado uh, competing for the national championship. I can't wait. Senior day is always a little bit bittersweet because it's the end of an era for these athletes but it's also um, a day of celebration for them. For me there's nothing finer than seeing student athletes finish their eligibility and soon to graduate which is essentially the purpose of being a, a Division II athlete. Um, it's a sad day because it's their final regular season game here at Lindenwood but it's a time to show that they've accomplished so much on the field and in the classroom and I wish all the seniors their best and I look forward to seeing what they do in their futures. Hello! I'm so excited that you guys are finally seniors. Um, I hope the rest of you guys' season is amazing. I miss you. I wish I could have came to visit this year, but all I'm glad to say is that you're on my side for the alumni game now. Love you guys. Bye. Hey guys, it's me, Erin. Um, you guys are a pretty special group to me, the senior class. Um, I obviously should be probably graduating with you. Um, so coming in with you guys has meant a ton to me. And I'm so excited for all of you to see you leave and see you go on, go on to bigger and better things. Dear seniors, I'm not bad at this. I'm going to be really good. Um, I just want to thank all of you for being really great role models, even though I'm pretty much the same age as you guys. Um, no, it actually has been really great playing with you guys the past two years. Um, you've taught me a lot. You've taught me a lot about what it is to be a good teammate and to appreciate each other and to bring up people along with you. And I don't know, I'll never forget you guys, so thanks. All right. My favorite thing about the seniors is their leadership that I'm going to miss a lot. Coming in as a freshman, they really made me feel welcome and the transition be super easy. So for that, that's what I'm definitely going to miss most about them. Okay, so Natalie Simpson was probably the first friend I had here. We both transferred in at the same time and didn't know anyone and we were really nervous. And I, the first like real memory I have with her is we sat, we both have to go to Target at the same time and me, her, and Buddy sat on like a display chair um, in the middle of Target and sat for like an hour and just talked about, I, I don't know, talked about who knows what and just sat there for a while and um, that was like the first real memory I had with her and then we were roommates and still are roommates forever. So, so we were down in Florida with for a few games and we were sitting in our condo pretty bored and Molly and Jimki were teaching us this card game and one of the biggest rules was you can't ever put a two on top of a two. So it's Ellie Boxty, Nat Simpson, Molly, Shimki, and Savannah and we're all sitting around the table and Simp goes and she puts a two down on top of a two and we all look at her and we're like Sim, what are you doing? You can't put a two on top of a two. And we played the game for maybe 13 hours, and she just kept putting the two on top of a two. So now she's known as Deuces. We're going to miss you, Deuces. Simpsonian. I'm going to miss all your <laughs> nicknames. Sim, Sim, Simple Sim, Simpsonian, Natalie. Matt. I'm um, going to miss how badly you did not know how to play um, like that asshole game that we played in Florida. Caitlin Ward. Um, you know, I, I think coming in freshman year, everyone was definitely afraid of her. Um, I know I definitely was on that spectrum, but soon I got to realize how good of a human being she was. You know, we're really close now. Um, I get to be in her wedding, which is awesome. Um, you know, the little things that she does, the sly, witty comments she puts in everywhere, you know, doesn't go unseen and it's amazing how much she puts forth that no one really realizes and I think that that is definitely something that I'm gonna cherish and miss for forever. Um, Lordy, I'm going to miss aimlessly just like running back and forth over the D midi line when like everyone's when we get the ball and then we turn it over and we have to come right back and we're running back and forth like gonna miss those. And when she ate shit at Homer's house. Anyways. From the ball on the roof. <laughs> um, yeah that was funny. 
anyone who noticed that their room's really cold in Denver, Kara and I went and turned all of your thermostats down <laughs> to like 49. So that was funny. I'm gonna miss that. Um, so just a couple stories about our years together. Um, most of them I would say revolve around Kara Wendell and our growing relationship and how we started off kind of on the rocks, but you know, it's grown. And now, like she said on the weekend, I've become her person. I guess our other story about our lovely Kara Wendell would be um, probably the number of times that she got us in trouble because of missing her sack hours. I think two years ago, um, she missed her sack hours. The team was in trouble, we had to run in the morning. And then Danielle Buddy followed this act and we woke up one morning at 5 a.m. to go over to Highland Arena and we weren't really sure what we were in for. We first showed up to the field all dressed in our cold gear. The coaches came out to meet us and realized how silly we looked because they were taking us into Highland to run and weren't going to make us run outside in that cold weather. Um, during this time, I think Coach Smith found these industrial tubes behind the bleachers and brought them out for our team and we had relays trying to hold onto this tube above our head and the whole team had to touch it. Um, Kara Wendell sat on the sides in a chair with a coffee and a bagel, watched us run. Abby Ness was barely touching onto the tube um, and we were all kind of getting frustrated with each other but there Kara was um, watching us do the punishment for her. <laughs> um, so I think there's tons of memories that we have together. Uh, Wendell, I, I really hope you figure things out. I love you. You've really changed a lot in the past years, which is it's pretty cool. But like, I still worry about you. But I love you. I drove her home from practice one day and because her roommates had locked her out and so we ended up sitting outside her uh, house because I didn't want to just make her wait outside. We sat outside her house for an hour talking about boys and mostly just about <laughs> PD. And I got to hear her whole life story with that and that was really cute. It was, it was a good time. First time I met Jordan, <clears throat> we had to make up taking like our uh, poster pictures. And I also were really scared of her just because like everything we heard and her just kind of badass. And so I wasn't really paying attention. I was walking. And I was like walking backwards. <laughs> and I ran right into the bike rack and flipped way over. It was super embarrassing and she just sat there and didn't laugh or anything and just <laughs> stared at me. I felt super awkward. And I just want to say that I'm gonna miss you a lot, Jordan. And good luck. Jordan, um, God, I've gotten to know you so well. I love the relationship we have now. Um, I can't wait to see where life takes you. And if you go missing in five years, I'll know that you're recovered. Jordan, I'm just gonna flat out miss you and how you look at people when they're being silly, really stupid. I'm just so silly. My name is Asia Woodside and I'm a part of the 2012 graduating class and I am here today to talk about Jordan Constance, Jay Coco, Connie, all the many names that she goes by. I'm pretty sure that Kara Cashin gave you the Jay Coco name, but anyways, that's besides the point. Um, she's one of your graduating seniors this year and she was my freshman, my senior year and she was absolutely a phenomenal player. And it has been amazing just to watch you grow and just become this rock star that you are today. And uh, to know that you're going out there to play your last year of lacrosse and you have been killing it, because yes, I have been stalking the team <laughs> like crazy. But I am so proud of you. You were amazing as a freshman. You did everything that you're supposed to do. You pushed everyone around you. You were just a hard worker. And you were everything that a captain could ask for. And I'm the best advice that I can give you is enjoy these last few days coming up and in your senior year because it goes by so quickly. And I guess, you know, you can already tell between freshman year to your senior year how quickly it went. And those memories stick with you forever. Again, I am so proud of you. I'm so happy for you. Enjoy it. Bring home a national trophy. We need it. And enjoy senior day.
Bye. Have a good one. So I'm going to talk about Shimki, Amanda Shimki. And first of all, I just want to say you're my sister. You're my yeah. sister. <laughs> And I'm really gonna miss you next year because we're always in the back of the pack together running and I'm gonna have to recruit someone else <laughs> and I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, so senior day is coming up and I guess it's time to start saying our goodbyes to our, the best senior class that I've had. Um, it's crazy to think that these are the girls that I've played the longest with and for three years they've been such a great inspiration and such a great source of leadership on this team. Uh, obviously, some of the best friendships that I've made um, are with the senior class, especially with one person, uh, Manny Shimki. She's my roommate, she's been my best friend for the past three years, and it's gonna be the hardest to say goodbye to her for sure. It's been a great three years, it's been awesome to play with you, and I have no idea what this team is gonna be like with you guys not on it. So, thank you for all of your dedication, all of your hard work, and it's been much appreciated, and I hope that we can make this team exactly the way it was when you guys were here. Uh, hello Lady Lions, just wanted to give you guys a nice little shout out, especially number 2-1, Amanda Shinky, the love of my life. Hope the best for you and the rest of your teammates. Good luck. I'm really going to miss OC and OC's leadership on the field. I think she's very positive for this team and a great leader. Um, she, like last year, she always, whenever she plays in the middle, she wants people to pick off her and it took her, I told her to just keep telling me that, uh, because I would always forget to take um, a drive off her pick. And so I was like, just keep reminding me. It took her all year, but like I finally got it. And I think it's just like that, her patience with everyone, including me on the team until we can all succeed is um, vital to our team. And I think that will um, be something we all miss. Maddie, I will miss you. It's been a great two years. You showed me a lot of things. And I wish you and Andrew the best of luck. You know, keep me in the loop because, you know, I'm part of the relationship too. So, uh, long live the college blog. OC, guys. did you get OC? That's OC. What'd you say about her? When she was doing the drill one time, she like messed up when we were all in the middle and then one time she just like completely missed the ball and we almost had like a super rotation and you look across the field and you just see OC all by yourself like this. <laughs> oh, you're like super frustrated. <laughs> but I'm gonna miss you're that. You're really hitting your head, you have a red mark. You gotta okay. do what you gotta do. Um, I mean, Maddie and Kara together, two of the best people I think I could have had for roommates. Uh, the little things Maddie puts forth, you know, come and hang out with me when I'm having the worst days. You know, Kara always can put a smile on my face, um, no matter what she does. <laughs> um, like I said before, I'm super excited for you guys. I hope you leave the school with some great memories and remember all of us back here and the times that we shared together. And I hope this week is super special for you guys because you mean so much to all of us. Dear seniors, oh. no, what? I'm on the floor. You can't see that. Can you like, give me something to say? Um, so I'm gonna talk about Jordan <laughs> Constance. And yeah, do I, do I just keep going? Yeah. In Kara's, in Maddie's room, or at the time it was Annie and Kara, or Annie and Maddie. Oh shoot, I screwed up. Oh, God. <laughs> Shrimps, the thing you will miss or you think you'll miss the most not being a Linda with a lacrosse player. Not making the 215 drill. Just damn sure. Not really, but I'm kind of on the spot here. I just got asked to do something that I have no experience doing. But... Okay, go ahead. Wait, I'm confused. Wait, stop it. Okay. I'm actually confused. I'll just be getting Hello, the Okay, ready? Ready? I, I'm, I'm sorry. Hello. Hello. No. No. <laughs> Just let me start. Ready? Hello. Did you get that thing out of your teeth yet? <laughs> Hello. Is it out? <laughs> Go! Uh, she's talking. Everyone look at the camera. Look dead in the camera. Hello. Is and welcome. <laughs> You're being annoying. Yeah, you are. Ready? Okay, five, six, seven. Like Stop! <laughs> Seniors. 
Sorry I'm bad at this. So my favorite thing... Oh. Sorry. I'm sorry, we're just okay. saying, kind of try to look right here. Do you want us to sing a song? Okay, ready? To the window. <laughs> I miss you. I miss your smile. And I still chat it to you every once in a while. And even though it's sad for now, we're still here somewhere. <laughs> so nice. I love you, seniors. See you later. Hey, ready? Hey, no. <laughs> Got it. Do you know who this? Just like to give the lady lines a little shout out, especially number two, one, Amanda Shuki, the love of my life. <laughs> you can't laugh in the background of it. I got it again now, don't I? All right, okay. I wish all the seniors the best for their final home game at Lindenwood, unless we get the bid to be cut there. Cut there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's basically it, and thank you.